teacher here at Wellspring Primary School. Today we're going to talk about friendship. This is my dear friend Tom. Hey Tom, are you always happy at school? Yeah, most of the time. I have lots of friends here. We like playing together. It's great to have friends beside us, right? If a little boy or girl had no friends, what do you think the reason would be? Well, maybe he or she is too selfish, or too aggressive, or too noisy. Too noisy? That reminds me of a story named The Little Little Girl with the Big Big Voice. Oh, please tell me that story. The Little Little Girl with the Big Big Voice. There was a little little girl with a big big voice. One day she went to find someone to play with. She came upon an elephant blowing bubbles in the water. But something scared the elephant away. She came upon a snake swinging in the tree. But something scared the snake away. She came upon a crocodile giggling in the sun. But something scared the crocodile away. She came upon a lion rolling in the grass. But the lion looked at the little girl and bored. And the little girl looked at the lion and laughed. And together they played and played until the end of the day. The end. This is an interesting and lovely story about friendship, isn't it? Via this story, I'd like to introduce some new words to you. Voice. The sounds that are made when people speak or sing. For example, my teacher has a beautiful voice. Come upon to find something or meet someone unexpectedly. For example, I came upon this book in the Wellspring Library. Scared to make a person or animal feel frightened. For example, she is very brave. She doesn't scare easily. Roar to make a long, loud, deep sound. For example, we can sometimes hear the lions roaring at the zoo. Dear kids, from this week, there will be a question at the end of the story. Please choose the best answer and type in the comments below with your favorite number from 0 to 99. Then, get ready to win nice gifts from us. My question for this story is, which animal is not scared of a little girl? A. The elephant B. The snake C. The lion or D. The To read this story again, you can find it at the Wellspring Library. Share this video to your Facebook or subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Goodbye and see you next week!